In this video, we'll learn about venous anatomy of brain, which includes cerebral veins and dural venous sinuses. My name is Dr. Aishwarya. To begin with, let's learn about dural venous sinuses. So, dural venous sinuses are of two types. One is paired and unpaired. Paired sinuses are transverse sinus, sigmoid sinus, superior petrosal sinuses, inferior petrosal sinuses, cavernous sinus, spinoparietal sinuses. These are all divided into right and left. Unpaired sinuses are superior sagittal sinus, inferior sagittal sinus, straight sinus, occipital sinus and intercavernous sinuses which are present in midline. Coming to cerebral veins, there are superficial and deep set superficial veins. There are three named superficial veins. These are superficial middle cerebral vein that is sylvian vein along middle cerebral artery, superior anastomotic vein or vein of trollard, inferior anastomotic vein or anastomotic vein of labi. We will see them individually. Next are the deep set of veins. Subcortically, there are medullary veins which will eventually drain into subependymal veins along the ventricular outline. They are the internal cerebral veins and basal vein of Rosenthal which join to form vein of Gallen. So let's look at basic anatomy of all these. You can draw along with me. This is the superior sagittal sinuses along the superior aspect of Fox. This is the inferior sagittal sinus along inferior aspect of Fox. This is the straight sinus, transverse sinus, sigmoid sinus which continues as internal jugular vein. Now let's draw the deep veins or the subependymal veins. This is the internal cerebral veins and basal veins of Rosenthal which will join to form vein of Galen which further joins the straight sinus. Next let's see the anterior set of paired venous sinuses. These will join the posterior set of paired sinuses and I'll explain how. These are the spinoparietal sinuses, two of them. Next we have superior petrosal sinuses which joins cavernous sinus with the transverse sinus. Next inferior petrosal sinus which joins cavernous sinus with the sigmoid sinus. Next, cavernous sinus. All these are paired, which have right and left set of each. Next, we are going to see the three named cortical veins. These will anastomose with each other and then further connect to the dural venous sinuses also. So, this is the vein of Trollard, which is across the parietal lobe. This is the vein of Sylvian and this is the vein of Labe. Vein of Trollard drains into superior sagittal sinus, sylvian drains into cavernous and labi drains into the transverse sinus and they anastomose with each other on the cortical surface along with other unnamed cortical veins. After looking at the veins, now we will look at their territories. On the right side, I will show the draining sinus that is superior sagittal sinus drains hyperietal and frontal lobe. These are drained by veins that is vein of prolad and other cortical veins. Next we will see the deeper veins. Corpuculosum area is drained by inferior sagittal sinus and basal ganglia and internal capsule drained by internal cerebral vein which further drains into straight sinus. This area of the cortex that is temporal lobe is drained by sylvian vein further drains into cavernous sinus and other cortical veins draining the other part of cortex drains into superior sagittal sinus. Next the brainstem area is drained by vein of gallon further draining into straight sinus. Here the mesial temporal lobe area and the occipital cortex is drained by basal vein of Rosenthal which further drains again into straight sinus. This part of the temporal lobe cortex is drained by vein of labi, further draining into transverse sinus. Anterior part of the temporal lobe is drained by sylvian vein, which further drains into cavernous sinus. Most of the or entire posterior fossa is drained by occipital veins into 
transverse sinus. We'll see MR venography images to understand sinuses and veins better. Superior sagittal sinus is here in midline in the superior aspect of Fox. This is the inferior sagittal sinus in the inferior aspect of Fox in midline. Next we have is the internal cerebral vein which is a paired vein draining into vein of gallon. And this is the vein of gallon which further joins straight sinus. And here is the straight sinus draining the vein of gallon which will join the superior sagittal sinus and also the transverse sinus at the confluence of sinuses. Next, as we move laterally, we see the transverse sinus as a continuity of confluence of sinuses. Once we start seeing the temporal lobe, we will look out for other veins here. Here we can see that vein of labi, which is a superficial cortical vein draining here at this region into transverse sinus. Next we have basal vein of Rosenthal which drains the mesial temporal lobes. Here it is seen joining the internal cerebral vein and both together join to drain into the vein of gallon which we see here and this is further joining the straight sinus along with inferior sagittal sinus. Next we'll see the axial sections of MR venography. Coming from up to down we have superior sagittal sinus, the most superior most sinus. As we move down over the cortex we can see the cortical veins which are the superficial set of veins and here is the named vein that is trollard. Next we move further down at the level of ventricles after passing lateral ventricles in the roof of third ventricle where inferior aspect of Fox is there we see the inferior sagittal sinus. We move a little down we see a set of paired veins which are the internal cerebral veins. Okay, this drains the midbrain and the brain stem. Next, posterior to it, both the internal cerebral veins are seen to drain into vein of gallon. Here you can see them joining the vein of gallon. Vein of gallon drains into the straight sinus which we see here posteriorly. Now the straight sinus is not seen in a single axial section because it runs an oblique course and posteriorly the straight sinus drains into the confluence of sinuses where multiple sinuses join together that is straight sinus, superior sagittal sinus and right and left transverse sinuses. Here in this axial section where pons is seen we can see both transverse sinuses simultaneously. These sinuses drain almost all the posterior fossa structures and as we move down here we can see both the transverse sinuses continuing as sigmoid sinuses and sigmoid sinuses are known so because of their shape and course as they run a sigmoid or S shaped course inferiorly they continue as internal jugular vein and exit through jugular fossa. Let's move back up and see the most important paired sinus that is cavernous sinus which is interconnected by multiple intercavernous sinuses which are present in the midline. Now cavernous sinus drains most of the anterior and middle cranial fossa through the other venous sinuses. One of which is superior petrosal sinus we can see here right and left draining into cavernous sinus. 
along the sylvian fissure we have the superficial middle cerebral vein or the sylvian vein named due to the location we have now covered the cerebral venous anatomy as a whole with all the dural venous sinuses and cerebral veins for more such videos follow radiology doodles on instagram and youtube and if you want any more videos of radiological anatomy or exam related videos please comment below i'll try to make more videos on those topics thank you